gonna be a story time of how me and my friends waged war on the nastiest girls at my high school. After watching all of the parts, you get to decide who won this war. And just a heads up, this will probably be the nastiest story time that I've ever posted. Let's get right into it. So at my high school, there was these group of girls that would keep themselves dirty so they could get attention from the boys. They would never take showers, they would always come to school stanking. It was so bad to the point where if you were in class with them, the teachers would have to open up all the windows and leave the door wide open so the smell could drift out. Like it was that bad, you really could have passed out. The school went as far as holding an assembly about how important hygiene is just because of these girls. Now these girls stayed together as a clique and they were on the track team and me and my friends were also on the track team. Our coach encouraged us to take showers after practice but she couldn't force us. But she made it clear that she wanted us to take showers. Those girls wouldn't take full on showers, they just get in the water for like five seconds and then get out. So one day me and my friends decided that all those girls were in the shower, we were going to pour soap and shampoo all over them like for part two. This is going to be part two of how me and my friends waged war on the nastiest girls at our high school. As you could imagine, track practice sucked because of how bad they smelled. And mind you, they barely contributed to the track team. They were those girls that always pretended like they had an injury so they didn't have to practice. It was embarrassing, like why are you here? And so after practice, while they were taking their 10 second showers, me and my friends took bottles of soap and shampoo and poured it all over them. This made them like cuss us out. They were extremely angry, but they didn't do anything. So some time passes by and one of my friends had told me that her boyfriend had gave her an STD. So she's thinking he didn't have this STD before and all of a sudden he has one. So where did he get it from? Then all of a sudden, next thing you know, one of those stankin' wanking girls that we poured soap and shampoo all over starts posting on her story and she says, and I quote, you say I'm dirty, but your boyfriend doesn't think any less of me, so what does that make you? Eventually, my friend's boyfriend admitted to her that he had cheated on her with one of those girls. And it wasn't just the two of them. It was all those girls, my friend's boyfriend, and some of his friends. It was like a five-son. This is gonna be part three of how me and my friends waged war on the nastiest girls at our high school. So like I said, those girls that never took showers had gotten a train ran on them by one of my friend's boyfriend and some of his friends. This pissed my friend off so bad she was acting out of character. And I say out of character, I'm talking about this girl was saying, oh, I'ma poison her, I'ma run this bitch over. At the time it seemed excessive, but just wait until you hear the whole story and you'll understand why it would have been justified. So my friend had asked her, well, her ex-boyfriend why he did what he did. He said that they didn't smell bad at the time and it was just, spur of the moment but he knew that his own girlfriend did not like those girls my friend would talk shit about those girls to him and it's the fact that he still had the audacity to put his dingling in my friend after he had ran a train on those girls like that's disrespectful and so to get back at these girls my friend decided that she was going to stay in the locker room for track practice after all the girls left the locker room and she took a piss on all of those girls clothes this led to one of the girls getting a rash that got really bad to the point where she had to be hospitalized trust me you're gonna want to like for part four so this is going to be part four of the time my friends and I waged war on the nastiest girls at our high school. So after my friend had pissed on those girls' clothes for giving her an STD, one of the girls got a really bad rash for wearing those clothes and had to be hospitalized. Now, I would have said that my friend went too far if it wasn't for this. So what my track team ended up going on a camping trip, and the coach told those girls specifically that if they wanted to go on the camping trip, that they were going to have to be hygienic. They were going to have to take full-on showers, they were going to have to brush their teeth, they are going to have to bring a change of clothes, and me and my friends had hoped that they weren't going to come on this camping trip so we could have our fun. But they actually agreed to being hygienic, and so they came on the camping trip. I'm still taking a Back at the events that happened on this camping trip so we're on the camping trip we're like the third day in we sat around the campfire and made s'mores and then we all went to sleep in our tents me and my friends we all shared a tent all my friends were asleep but i wasn't asleep yet i was still drifting asleep and then i heard somebody open our tent it was kind of dark but i could still make out who it was and it was one of those girls me and my friends were beefing with she gets to where my friend is sleeping and squats down and she takes a shit right on my friends this is gonna be part five of the time my friends and I waged war on the nastiest girls at our high school. Like I said, we're on a camping trip and my friends and I are all sleeping in a tent. One of those girls we're beefing with comes into the tent, squats down on one of my friend's faces and takes a shit right on her face. Mind you, she thought that I was sleeping. So once I screamed at her like, what the fuck are you doing? She gets up and runs out of the tent. This girl is butt ass naked, okay? My friend eventually wakes up and she's smacking her lips like, what is that taste? And I'm telling her like, do not swallow. Whatever you do, do not swallow. And I'm like, girl, it's just some chocolate from the s'mores we made earlier. I was trying to get her not to freak out because she was going to Molly Wop, Miss Butt Naked Nasty. She eventually figures out what it is and she's like, is this some type of sick joke? And so I'm telling her, no bitch, who the fuck do you think I am? So I run out the tent and then I see one of those girls like fast walking towards the woods and she's looking behind her and then she sees me. So I start running after her and she starts dashing through the woods. I'm cussing her out like, bitch, you're fucking nasty. The fuck is wrong with you? Eventually our coaches hear the noise and they wake up like for part six. 
This is going to be part six of the time my friends and I waged war on the nastiest girls at our high school. Like I said, after I'm chasing this girl for taking a shit on my friend's face, I'm cussing her out, running her behind her. Eventually, I lose her in the woods and I have to walk back to where we were camping. Her coaches had woken up at that point and they were talking to my friend who had shit all over her face. She was telling them like, I don't even know what's going on. And so once they saw me, they were asking me like, what's happening? And I'm basically telling them everything that happened. So the coaches start looking for this girl. Eventually, they find her butt naked somewhere. They call that girl's parents and then my friend's parents to let them know what had happened and my friend's mom decided that she did not want my friend on the camping trip anymore so they cut the camping trip short and for the rest of the time they kept that girl and my friend separated just so you guys know me and my friends could not beat up those girls because we were athletic academic scholars bitch they are not worth it but once we went to school again the school ended up expelling all of those girls and it's because my friend's complaint about them was kind of the last straw they had so many complaints about their hygiene how dirty they were so the school was just kind of like okay we're done with y'all that was the end of it who do y'all think won this war